What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Modern Horizons draft. It has been a stressful couple of days. I'm recording this on Tuesday. It'll be up on Wednesday, I guess. And uh, literally had <clears throat> woke up yesterday to a leak in my turtle tank. <clears throat> I woke up and I went to the living room. And uh, not like the living room, but the family room, I guess. I don't know. The Florida room, if you want. It's a room where you walk in, and you walk into the house, and that's the room you're in. But there's a turtle tank in there with a turtle in there, which I've had for like 20 years, actually. And uh, she's like 18 years old. And there were a couple small puddles of water on the ground. And I was like, what's going on here? And so I was looking for like... Maybe it was, like, from the dog or something, you know? I was like, "Let's, what's going on here? Why is this water here? So, I slowly realized that it was coming down from the, uh, <clears throat> slowly, slowly dripping from the turtle tank. There was a seal that, I guess a seal broke in the right, in the right lower, the, the right lower quadrant, if you will. And, uh, it was unfortunate. This guy seems very good. So does Wing Shards and Defile, though. Uh, irregular Cohort seems good. Uh, her name is actually Lady. Interestingly enough. Similar to Little, little Man. <laughs> actually, when I got her, I named her Seymour. And then after a certain amount of time, I realized that she was a, a lady. So now I just call her Lady. A foyer? Yeah, foyer kind of works. I could see. I like this tree folk actually. We gotta take a lot of snow stuff. I'm gonna take the wing shards. That just seems better. Oh, Genesis? What do you take over? What uncommon is better than Genesis? Yeah, we're definitely taking Genesis here. This card's in impossible to beat. Oh, and you get another abominable tree folk. Also, Soul Herder? Both of these are pretty nuts. Jeez. <coughs> So we have blue white. I did not see any of E3 today. I did watch the uh, I watched the Bethesda showcase and I watched the Microsoft showcase. <clears throat> Lafuff, what's going on, buddy? I like Soul Herder a lot, and it keeps us off of the uh, the snow theme. Oh, another wing shards. Seems good. All right, we're gonna try to build around this wing shards here. Why do you have a wing shards? What does that even mean? Why don't you have wing shards? Got them. You could actually uh, you could draw a card and then wing shards for two. Talisman of Hierarchy. Uh, Bellowing Elk. 4-2. Two, 2-1. Two, Wall of Thousand Cuts is pretty okay. We're definitely white here. We could easily just splash the Genesis. I, I think 3-5 Flyer that can actually attack is pretty good. Um, Shadow Creatures lose abilities and a coward with base fire and toughness 01. Sure. 4 3 flying when you cycle it, creature gains flying. Okay. Eh, this card's fine. Target player is not for now. <coughs> hmm. I mean, for 5 mana, this is actually milling a significant amount of cards. None of these cards are actually exciting. I think it's just reprobation. It's just removal, right? Sure. Mm, Phantom Ninja's fine. I don't know how easy it is to trigger Storm on your opponent's turn with, like, Wing Shards. Also, nothing... There's not many cards that are actually worthy of blinking, but, I mean, just giving this guy a plus one, plus one counter return is also pretty good, so... Uh, it can also just make it refresh your blocker, so we'll take the Phantom Ninja, sure. Uh, Zelfir and Decoy's not bad. Yeah, it's probably better than the second wall. Sure. Why not? <coughs> the 
Thank you. Shooter McGavin, welcome back. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Huh. I actually think Fountain of Icar is fine. I don't think I want another reprobation just yet. But this does love a splash Genesis. So that seems okay. Again, this is only our like fourth draft, so you'll have to go easy on us. Martyr Soul is not exciting, but okay. Yeah, Talisman of Conviction. <clears throat> Knight of Albanalia seems great here. I'll just take that. Uh, Elvishuri. Gilded Light. We're going to go with the Gilded Light because I just don't know if we are uh, even playing that many green cards. Alright, well. All these are playable. Plague Engineer, that card seems absolutely ridiculous. And we do have a Talisman and a Fountain of Vicar to splash it. I don't think it's worth anything, but uh, eh, it's a dollar. It's still absolutely nuts. I mean, it's a 2-2 two, two for 3 with, with Death Touch at the very least. Uh, return a creature with power 1 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Meh. <clears throat> Rocks veteran, pretty good. Scratch and draw a card. <coughs> Probably just want Rocks veteran here. Or Scale Guardian lands in the graveyard, not going to be super relevant here. Could just be Pondering Mage, actually. Blinking a Pondering Mage every turn is not terrible. Thank you! Pilot Evan, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, It's probably Pondering Mage here, right? 2 1 Flyer is not bad. When it leaves the battlefield, you can return a 1 power, but I don't think we have anything with 1 power yet, so. I guess we can return our soul herder or our decoy. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just get pondering mage. Oh, grave shifter. Hmm. That seems fantastic. <clears throat> Maybe we're splashing black instead of green, especially with this talisman. Answered prayers is never a creature. Yeah, that's not very care about that. Also, Mob is really good too. Etchings of the Chosen enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, sacrifice a creature, and the target creature gets indestructible. Undead Augur seems good, so does Defile. If we're black white, yeah, we might be putting this guy on the sideboard. Or we can return from extinction, that seems good too.
Yeah, I actually, I'm going to be writing about the new Hogak combo <clears throat> uh, tomorrow for Cool Stuff Inc., so be sure to check that out. If you guys are watching this video on YouTube, it will probably be up today, so check out CoolStuffInc.com. You can also use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. I don't like the double black here, but Defile is pretty similar in that in that regard. <clears throat> I think we'll probably just take... Eh, I probably wanted the Defile anyway. Dang it. I'll take the Crypt Rats. Crypt Rats are fine here. Alright, so this is a Blink Effect as well. But it's also good with Wing Shards, interestingly enough. Gluttonous Slug, also pretty cool. Menace and Evolve. And uh, if you're blinking our creatures, things can evolve more. <laughs> you sound even more glorious than usual today. Wonderful. Wonderful. <clears throat> Discord didn't... Fi Sometimes it takes a second. I don't know. I have no idea what we're taking here. La -da 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 -da. Probably just Gluttonous Slug. <clears throat> oh, a Smiting Helix? I like Smiting Helix with Fountain, Fountain of Icar a lot. Because then you can just cast that bad boy. Um, I wish you can crack these for cards, but that's not how that works. Also, Urza's Rage is good if we're splashing red now, too. Jeez. Probably better than another Talisman, right? Is this 11? It's like 13,000 mana. Yeah, I think it's just better than the second Talisman. <clears throat> uh, none of these cards are exciting. Just take the rare, I guess. Um, whatever, take this guy. I call it from your subscriber for a card name. Trust this card. Really put your hand in the shuffling library. Um, it's actually fine. I don't think we have anything that really goes with Vesper Lark yet. But maybe. It's still a 2 1 flyer. Oh, Undead Augur comes back. Jeez. That's interesting. I don't know how many zombies we have, but. Tectonic Reformation. That's a, that's a land, all right. That is a land, all right. This pack's pretty unexciting. Nothing in this pack is exciting to me. <clears throat> Unearth is nice because it can get back our Soul Herder. It can get back pretty much anything in the deck, right? Oh, mana cost three or less, so pretty much anything from here on over. <clears throat> Probably going to take out the Phantom Ninja. I don't think we're double bluing it. Eh, same thing with this guy. Could just be another Urza's Rage, too. Yeah, that seems fine. Whatever. All right, well, Phantasmal Form, no. Ninja, no. Healings, no. Mind Rake, no. Could just be Rocks Veteran. I think it's actually just Rocks Veteran here. Battle Screech, yes. Excellent. The new M20, M, uh, the, the new M20 Mythic Chandra looks very, very good. Very, very good. Valiant Changeling costs one less for each creature to have my creature control. I did get the return to extinction though, so all the changelings are nice. This is a three. This is a two, two for three. Meh. It's pretty pretty underwhelming for for limited. It's just etchings. 
<coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if we have enough creature types to make this worthwhile. He's just Valiant Changeling. I don't think we have enough shapeshifters, though. I mean, like, we have, like, two shapeshifters. Dregscape Sliver. Each sliver has unearthed, too. Yeah, okay. No creature knows battlefield gain a life if it isn't a creature. So you may, this becomes a 3 3 angel every time, but you also gain a life, so it's not terrible. I'm not, like, super excited about it. I can't. This is uncommon. Wow, I would have thought this was rare. Interesting. Eh, Martyr Soul's kind of meh. <coughs> Wish I didn't have this scratchy throat. Uh, you just whatever you're changing. Wow, another battle screech. <clears throat> That's got to be better than generous gift here. Yeah, that seems fantastic. Holy smokes, dude! Three elves in a trench coat. No, that's regular. That's normal. Knight of Old Benalia? Sure. Soul Herder number two? Okay, well. This deck has officially gone nuts. Wow, two Lava Belly Slivers? That's pretty interesting, actually. Do I just take all these Slivers now? Because we also have first slivers chosen in here. We have an enduring sliver over here. Is that all the slivers we have? We can just board into a sliver plan. <laughs> Seems pretty alright. Yeah, I'm just going to take etching as well. <clears throat> Name slivers. This deck actually seems very, very good. I'm okay with it. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, Dregscape Sliver, my man. <clears throat> My man. Have you actively drafted a sliver deck on here? Not yet. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, buddy. I've been waiting for you. I also like that all the two two all the two mana slivers are two twos and not just one ones. Well, maybe not maybe not all of them, but I think a good enough amount of them. This is also a sliver. Is this good? Can we actually play slivers here? Etchings would be good in the slivers deck. I mean, this guy's a changeling. Oh, like on purpose? No, I think I think you knew. I think you knew. Uh, I need one cut. We have 13 creatures, but two battle screeches as well. I think our deck's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> Our four color mess. This is hilarious. So we have Fountain Vicar, which is kind of nice. <coughs> I think we might actually cut. I don't like decoy. I don't love decoy, but I mean, if we can tap their biggest thing and then also rocks better than tap their biggest thing, that's pretty good. Um, 
it's also just a 1-3 that blocks. We can get it back with Vesper Lark. So there's a lot of little abilities that, that are nice. <clears throat> I think we can probably cut... This is just so good. It's just it's just 3 meta for 3 at instant speed. I think we can cut Crypt Rats. And we already have Plague Engineer. We have Double Wing Shards. Reprobation. Um, double Urza's Rage. Smiting Helix. This deck seems sweet. And I kind of want to board into like a sliver deck. Let's see how this one does. And then we have the sweet sliver. <clears throat> Let's actually save this. Um, <clears throat> so look at this. We have two red cards and two blue cards. And the, the red cards actually can be kicked with a second red. So they give us three blue and one red. I'm going to go 2-2. Two, two. And then only two black, two black mana, huh? I think 7622 is probably where we want to be. Actually, there's no double black cards. I can see 8-5 here. And then let's save this. And then we'll say new deck. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, eh, we'd still play Battle Screeches. Oh, Battle Screeches turning our slivers into, uh, turning turning all our creatures into slivers? That seems pretty good. Changeling, Knight, Knight, Sliver, Rocks, Rocks, Sliver. That's a Sliver. That's a Sliver. Oh, I didn't even know we had a second Vesper Lark on the sideboard. Wing Shards, Wing Shards, Plague Engineer. Sliver, sliver, etchings. We actually don't have to be blue this way. There's no real reason for the blue cards. Maybe knight's not that great. It's still pretty great. <coughs> Maybe wing shards aren't that great. I think we might want Fountain of Vicar, but we also have to make a couple cuts already, so. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and get all creature types. Sliver creatures get plus two, plus oh. <coughs> slivers have Exalted. That's pretty good. Make all your guys slivers. <laughs> probably cut a Wing Shards. And probably cut... Hmm. This actually seems very good. I think I think you guys might be onto something here with my suggestion. Battle Screech and Rocks Veterans just seem too good. I think I might just one knight. Because I don't want to top deck this guy too late. Well, unless for each creature to have him on creatures you control. Like, so if you have a changeling, this guy just costs two mana. That seems really good. Oh, that wasn't even typing. Is that right? Is there an E? Oh, there is an E in Changeling. It's not Changling. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good times. Good times. <coughs> I like Talisman because we have so many four drops, though. <laughs> That's some community stuff right there, yeah. That is... A, okay, Dad. Cut, wow, that's amazing. You are a real biscuit. I actually don't know what to cut. Maybe just wing shards. I could do it with wing shards. Let's go up to four here. Eight here. 
I like eight five four. I think uh, yeah, because we have talisman as well. So this it's actually not bad. Uh, or we can go seven six four. We just have a lot of three. We have a lot of red though. Do we have more red than? We actually almost have more red than. One two, one two, seven five five. I guess seven five five could work. Yeah, I don't hate that. Let's actually see if this deck is good. Let's play this. Let's play this version. Let's play the sliver version. Pete Yorn in my head, guys. So, if that does anything for you, uh, I will keep this hand. We have two plays and any red land, any red land like a mountain. You guys know mountains? I'm gonna be real excited if you 3 0 with accidental slivers. I mean, our deck seems good. <clears throat> Billy Biscuits. Unbelievable. Wow, that was rude. That was unbelievably rude that they would do that. These are both 2-2s. Two Might as well get the 3 drop out. <clears throat> sure... What does this do? Oh, it's a Goblin Matron. <laughs> what does this card do? <coughs> Deck seems good. We aren't falling for that again. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. You and me both. Money. Apple's Tim Cook here. As iPhone sales decline, we need a new revenue stream. So we thought cold pressed chili juice. It combines the flavor of chili with the sugar rush of juice. At fifty a glass, we think you'll agree you can't live without it. Wow, I like that you guys are just. Uh, I like that Tim Cook is actually using my stream as a vehicle to uh, to promote Apple ideas. That's fantastic. <clears throat> Did I just get in there for four? Yeah, we do. Wow, thank you, Tim. Tim Cook, thank you so much, man. I'll be honest, though. As Apple's Tim Cook, I feel like you could you could do to, to, to spend a little more. I think a dollar is pretty low if you want to you, advertise on the stream. Especially with such a brilliant idea as cold-pressed chili juice. But, um, you know, that's it's totally your prerogative, my friend. Your prerogative. <clears throat> he meant to send 100 but a decimal moved oh dang it that's so tricky oh this is interesting I would have sworn you played this guy to kill one of these that seems pretty decent I don't think we care about enduring sliver I think we just want to get 4 one, one floaty boys Do, 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 do. Yeah, 
you're not the one coming up with the hot juice ideas. That's true. I guess that's true. But that's not how advertising works, right? Like, the, the method you use to advertise doesn't have to come up with your methods. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing? Not my sliver daddy. I actually misread Lava Belly Sliver, and I thought it was deals one damage to any target. <clears throat> I actually should have blocked here, too. Ooh, that was... Oh, that's nice. This is a lot of damage, guys. <laughs> Can I get three little boops? We know they have this in hand, so they can kill any one of our slivers. Or a bird. Yep, that's what we figured. Undead auger, sure. <clears throat> I mean, you're basically dead with this and this, so. If we can draw any sliver that costs two or less, like the black sliver, if we can draw the unearth sliver, they're just dead, right? Uh, no blocks. I want 23. <clears throat> okay, sure. That's a reasonable card. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Screech it up. Darling, screech it up. I think they just conceded. Maybe? No? Okay. Oh, they did. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. We're having a good time. I mean, do we board anything in against the Zombonies? The gobl Goblonies? <coughs> uh, I kind of like Crip Rats, but I think our, our board gets wiped out more than they do. Frankly, they can see. Sometimes, so Magic Online does this weird thing where, like, you'll click on things and it won't be responsive. So you can kind of tell like when they've conceded. Like once the opponent's conceded, it takes a couple seconds to register. <clears throat> planes, please. That's not a planes. It's okay, I forgive you. If we can draw a third land, we can go turn two talisman, turn three fountain. I mean and then and then also turn three dregscape zombo sliver you, you get it you know what i'm saying here i kind of want to play this this gives us three yeah and then we can fountain into uh <clears throat> into dregscape sliver which is just, I, think, I think better I'll, if we hit a land next turn we can also go fountain into talisman as well no we couldn't right no we needed this so now we do this into fountain into dregscape sliver Thank you. Brando, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Happy year, buddy. I got Apple's Tim Cook to Villas visit the stream. <laughs> oh, man. That was big of you, dude. That was really big. They just pyro pyrophobia, our guy. That's, that's something. That is something. So if I just name Goblins with Plague Engineer, it's just really good, right? And then I can name Bird with Etchings of the Chosen. Hmm. Fascinating. I actually don't like playing this unless you can make four in one turn. <clears throat> so let's just go one, two, three. Plague Engineer. Name Goblin. Get your scry on. 
<coughs> I wish I could stop coughing. This is an intense scry that's going on here. And then we can just play etchings and name bird, I guess. We can also name sliver. I don't really want to not play this, though. Can we name changeling? No, I, changeling's not a creature type. Shapeshifter is the card type that changelings are, but shapeshifters don't have... Uh, they're not all creature types. Ba 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 bird. Also, if they kill this, we can just get it back with a return. Ideally, with another changeling. Ideally, we get a one, two, three. We have six mana. Ideally, we get a two mana changeling or just like a sliver. Even I'll take that. The changeling is a, uh, of course, an etching. It's a, a two. Uh, it gets plus one plus one. No play. <clears throat> Fascinating. How much does this guy cost? Six? I think that's actually fine. I want to play it now because if they have a way to remove this guy, then... It's still a 3-3 three, three double striker with all creature type. Oh, it's actually a 4-4 four, four because of the bird. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Have you seen the new bridge deck, Bridgevine deck? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And I'll be writing about it tomorrow for CoolStuffInc.com. So be sure to check them out. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, today. I just want to attack with this guy. Thank you. Mike, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Finally got a new computer. Now it's much easier stuff. Nice. Nice. What is going on here? I'm afraid of it. Okay. I mean, can't really play around five damage, so. We can get it back along with the sliver. Ooh, -wee. that's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. One, two, get the sliver back. We can actually play Battle Screech too. So next time we can get both back, play Battle Screech. Mm, seems good enough. <coughs> One and two. One and two. Seems good. If they kill one bird, though, it's really hard to uh, to Valiant Changeling, unfortunately. My frozen pizza broke as I was putting it in the oven. <laughs> How did it break? I don't know why we'd attack with the dinosaur. We can play two things here, right? One, two, three. We can play one thing. I'd much rather just play Battle Screech. Make two, two, twos. This guy costs... Still costs... Yeah, never mind. I think it's got to be this, right? One, two, three... Four... We can also sack the Plague Engineer to make one of the birds indestructible, which is fine. If we just want to guarantee being able to play it next turn. And now a bunch of cheeses on the bottom of the oven. Oh, that's, see, that's the worst. <clears throat> this is why I use a pizza stone. I just have a pizza stone, and I just put all my frozen pizzas on it. And then I pop that bad boy in the oven. Usually when you preheat it, you want to keep the pizza stone in there. So the pizza stone heats up evenly. They're going to steal this guy. Okay. And they're going to play carrion feeder. Or they're not. I mean, we're just taking five here. Defile. And then they play Carry and Feeder. Sure. I 
Okay, so... None of these are changelings, unfortunately, but we can play Enduring Sliver or, or the other, other Sliver and then play Valiant, Valiant Changeling, right? So this guy costs six right now. It will cost five with this guy. But we need three white for that, so I think we're just going to play Dregscape Sliver and then Valiant Changeling. And then we're just going to Battle Screech. Seems good. <clears throat> I feel like we're a bit ahead right now. <coughs> um, I think we're just going to block here. If you want to trade... Actually, we'll just double block. We're at a point where we can throw these birds away. Especially with like 8 damage here. Oh, alright, cool. So what is this? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is like lethal on board with the Fountainer. Eh, seems fine. How's the set so far? I've been enjoying it. My old roommate had stones for his his stones for his drink that he would put in the freezer. Oh, alright. We just won the game. The Sliver version. Surprisingly decent, guys. I'll keep this. We got a lot of white mana. Whatever. Is a pizza stone a sandwich? <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, okay. White mana next turn's good. Lava belly into lava belly. Into grave shifter. We can get back one of the lava bellies. White mana. Oh my god. This is what it's like to be great at Magic the Gather. Our hand is actually insane. We have five uncommons in our hand. <laughs> Two of them deal three damage. One of them gets back a sliver that's uncommon. The other one is just an uncommon sliver. So. <clears throat> oh, that's just rude. Oh, now you're being rude. That's okay. Oh, that was a good hit. That was nice. So we can actually go black, black, talisman into sliver, baby. Oh my god, Zaxor, what are you doing? Or not Zaxor, Zichi. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Oh man, I like how this has become a uh an ice cube stream. <coughs> well, not blocking that thing. Oh, they're gonna ninjutsu it? Fascinating. What does this do? Just indestructible? Sure. So I can just kill that guy. If we hit a land, we can go uh, Urza's Rage into other Sliver. We can also just go that one. Do the one. It seems good too. Guess they can bounce a bird. Ba -ba -ba bounce the bird. One, two, three, four. Shut up and take my money. Never doing that. Tim Cook. Tim Cook here again. Today I'm bringing you a groundbreaking new product, Chili Juice Stones. We think they're insanely awesome. Savory juices tend to get warm. And that's not what our customers wanted. So we innovated and brought you someone else's idea. Wow. Tim Cook, you're really killing it. You're uh... a... <clears throat> Man, your, your Chili Juice ideas are really... They're really next level here. 
Oh no. See, that's unfortunate because all of our damage spells deal three damage. But that's okay. We get to attack for four in the air. We get to play Lava Belly. So they're actually taking six damage next turn. That's pretty good. You got it. And we know they have <clears throat> Mana War in hand. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez. Well, we're just doing that for sure. <laughs> oh, Christ. Battle Screech is not a real magic card, guys. I just want you to be aware of that. 8 1 1 flyers. That's a reasonable thing to do. 8 1 1 flyers. They have to have Crip Rats or like. Um. The uh the 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 rare the rare that engineered plague guy <clears throat> plague engineer yeah I'll just take six here that's all you got huh so now we can go one two three lava belly sliveros deal you four here. Enduring Sliver. Gain four as well. That's all it's all pretty good. Do I think Battle Screech did no, because it's never gonna be better than like Lingering Souls. You never want to pay four for it. Just have absolutely no reason to attack with this. I don't know what this is. Sure. I mean, we have six damage in hand, so it's pretty good. As long as we survive, I think we're okay. We can also just chump block and then get this guy back. <coughs> sure. There's a lot of things happening right now. Is this uncommon or common? Oh, this is a concession. This is a tap two concede. Seems good. That is uncommon. Interesting. Yeah, double battle screech. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty. I know you probably have a ton of content brewing with the new set. Are you going to have a follow-up to the Agro Um, I don't know. I I think it's I think it's hard to write about the same deck twice. Because it's like I don't I don't know if I have another fifteen hundred words to say about the deck, especially if if it becomes a thing, I'll probably talk about it. But like, I haven't tested it my, on, by myself, and I haven't uh, given any more thought to it. Because like, there's so much new stuff every single week. Oh, uh, I could see playing it on stream. I would have to get my hands on some of these ridiculous rares. Ah, Ren and Six is actually down to like fifteen, so that's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to submit like this, I guess. Deck seems good. Um, I think this is fine. We're on the draw. We have two lands and a fountain. <clears throat> Bridge Vine is basically already back. Oh, I wonder if this is, they're like, this is my sideboard tech for your battle screech. Yikes. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. A swamp would be nice here. Do you often keep hands with the zero playable spells? Uh, if my, if all I need is one land to really go off the end, yeah. <laughs> When we're up a game and our deck is extremely powerful, yeah, I think that's totally fine. We're on the draw. I, I literally explained why I kept the hand, so that's really it's a weird comment to make. An aggressive start. And see, now we're paying for it. I 
fascinating. Rough. I mean, we're on the draw. Any black, any any swamp or any third land basically puts us in this game. But it was not meant to be. And we have 17 lands, talisman, and fountain. Yeah, I think that's a, an entirely keepable hand. Two lands and a bunch of spells. Like this, this hand's the same way. Like one land and this hand's great. Like we could also hit a two drop. Like it's totally reasonable. <clears throat> Turn two mocks would be nice. Any land, any land off the top. This guy kind of play tapped. Do all hideaway things under the battlefield tap? That's interesting. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to play two games where I don't literally, I literally don't hit a third land, then I guess it, I mean, <laughs> I guess I should mulligan, right? I'll mulligan to three lands. So it's three lands, three spells, where at least one of them is castable. I, I guess that's the... Yeah, this is cool. <sighs> like you do. <clears throat> I mean, we're not dead for sure. Like, this guy seems very good naming humans. Oh, look, we hit a land. We don't have very profitable blocks here, unfortunately. Fantastic. Take three islands, I guess. Yep, seems good. Thank you. Frank in the bar bobbly boost. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sure. That's pretty good. <clears throat> That's pretty good. We can no longer smiting helix you. Well, I guess we're taking four. Shut up and take my money. Tim Cook. Tim Cook here. Frank, do you think you should have kept this? <laughs> you know what, Tim? <clears throat> I think it's all right. I think we're going to get through it together. We could play Cleaving Sliver, attack for four, deal them five, so we got a 13. I think that's actually fine. Oh, did they not play? Did they play a swamp last turn? Oh, that's pretty funny. So we know they have an island in hand. They now have three islands in hand? Sure. I mean, this puts the race pretty close, right? <clears throat> we have eight power on board. We can go etchings, name Sliver. Four mana scry five. I mean, you get to keep the lands, but what does that do? Might as well put them on the bottom. I hope they play another changeling. They probably won't, though. They're going to play ponder mage. That's sad. Thank you. We can play etchings here. Let's hit a land. Days, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> When does this guy come off suspend? Oh god, like 15 turns from now? God, five suspend is brutal. Um, I'm pretty sure we actually just play this guy for naming human. 
which shuts down both of these. And then we can probably attack with one of these guys. I wish we had another land, though. Fifth land by turn seven would have been nice. Now did they play an island? They did. All right. <sighs> we can go Fountain into Imposter. That's the thing we can do. That also turns on a couple plays next turn if we hit a land. Can't play Battle Screech. I don't think I'm interested in Smiting Helix. <clears throat> I think this is still probably our best bet. Well, this guy's huge now. That is unfortunate. I think we kind of have to push here. <clears throat> Interesting. All right, well, I guess we're taking six. I mean, if we can draw white next turn, Battle Screech is great for us because we can double Battle Screech. This guy comes down the following turn. I think we just have to survive. blocks white mana for the win come on come on white mana oh that's pretty bad yeah that's pretty bad <clears throat> that hurts because now we can't double battle screech and we can't single battle screech either we kill this we go to seven but then this makes this a seven which is actually pretty brutal if we if they didn't bounce this we could actually go uh fountain imposter go to five and yeah, that wouldn't save us either i feel like we're pretty dead here unfortunately this card's very hard to deal with i think we're gonna concede here not hitting a second white source <clears throat> or a fifth land in eight turns is also pretty rough yeah, we just have nothing to do about this guy. We're just gonna get. We're just gonna die to the. We can't. We can smiting helix their face, but then we have to block here, I guess. And then like we're still thirty turns away from winning. So unfortunate. <clears throat> well, we, uh, I think our Sliver deck is still very, very good. Sure. Again, any black source or any, any land in general is pretty good for us, so. But again, <laughs> our luck with hitting a third land or a correct land has not been ideal, so. If we lose three of our uh, <clears throat> of our of four games, three of three game, three of four games, eh, three of three games, right? Yep. Here we go. Did you play paper pre-release this weekend? I did not. I didn't feel like spending like thirty-five dollars per pre-release, forty-five dollars, whatever the cost would be, whatever the exorbitant amount would be. <clears throat> $35 
Third land, one time. Not asking for a lot, but I guess I am. Wow. <clears throat> That's unbelievable. This is actually unbelievable. Like, three games in a row where I have not been able to hit a third land. Did you lose because you were outplayed? No, I lost because I didn't get to play the game of Magic the Gathering. I guess you could have mulliganed to three lands in your six-card hand. 50% of your hand being lands is what you should mulligan to. Yeah, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I don't think so, fake fake viewer that I uh, just made up. Oh, yeah, there it is. Nailed it. Yep, let's, uh, let's keep discarding. Oh, most people mull two lands and five spells. I didn't know that, really. Do you have a, an article uh, with statistics where that those people mulligan that many hands that are comprised of that? Because I, I had no idea. I've been playing Magic for 20 years. I've also, you know, played on the Pro Tour and top eight premier runs. So I, I just assumed that I, I knew what I was doing. But I guess uh, if most people do that, in my face. <clears throat> I mean, it's just like, I mean, like, I, it's not unreasonable to keep a two land hand on the draw. Like, just because if I had a two drop in my hand, if I had one two drop and I play my two drop and still don't hit my third land drop, like it's not, you're not in any better shape. Like the benefit you have is minimal. You, you want, you want to hit your third land drop. Like who gives a shit if you have a two drop in your hand that you're able to play. Well, I just like the whole people coming in the chat and being like, most people do this. And I'm like, no, they don't. <laughs> like, that's just not how it works. You have no evidence to back that up. You literally just made that claim up. You made those numbers up. And, uh... The only problem with this version of the deck is that we don't actually have great ways to deal with things like 8-8s. If we had, an, if we had the, the Plague Carrier, that's pretty good. But we don't. Oh boy, this card is something. I mean, this actually gets around wing shards pretty well. If they played a spell, if they play a spell on their turn and then attack, and then we wing shards for both of these guys, it's actually pretty insane. Um, that's also living in a world where we have a wing shards, though. <clears throat> One, two, three. I think Rock's Veteran is probably just better here. This is a Rhino Soul. So this is three creature types. So this guy costs what? Four? It's actually pretty alright. It's a reasonable amount. Okay. Oh man, Wing Shards OP. Attack with just these two. Oh my god, if we had a Wing Shards. My kingdom for a... Want Wings 24. That's where I'm at right now. Are we taking nine here? Yeah, I'm just taking nine. I'm not going to block. I think go team or team or battles team or battle rage with this guy. That's pretty good. Oh my gosh! <clears throat> so this is six, uh, seven, eight. We could actually double block with these two guys, which is not terrible. Yeah, this is actually all right, I guess. I mean, so long as they don't have any kind of tricks in their three-card hand. We do get to gain a life here, which is nice. I mean, if we could just hit a land by turn three, I think, like, fantastic. Just fantastic, but, you know, not being able to... <clears throat> it's also how you say things, right? Like, if you're not condescending about it and you're like... Personally, I, I like to mull hands that have, uh, you know, less than three lands. If I can't play anything, I'd be like, all right, yeah, that's cool. That's a great opinion. 
But if you're gonna be shitty about it, be like, that's why most people do this. I'm just gonna be like, nah. Yep, had a feeling this was Alpha City because they got five cards in hand. Like, come on. <clears throat> All right, let's see what kind of tricks you got, my dude. We're taking three right now. So if they have a plus two, plus two, we're dead. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yep, that's a pretty good one. I don't know why you wouldn't kill this guy instead. Guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> I guess it's actually irrelevant, right? Mm-hmm. Why is Hodor playing magic on our team? What does that mean? I mean, like, what a weird thing to say. It's also weird that you said that. Like, <laughs> what a strange thing to con to communicate to someone. <clears throat> oh man, magic players are super socially awkward. Let's bring in both the wing shards against this ridiculous. We'll take out like. I think etchings might be a little too greedy. <clears throat> I think it's fine to cut cut in etchings. How does that come from a place of love? That seems extremely insulting. Also worth noting, I've never been, uh... Well, you get it. Um, yeah, let's bring this in. That seems good. Uh, I think this is actually fine. What? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious that you think that comes from a place of love. If I was like, hey man... What's Hagrid from Harry Potter doing on on TV? What's John Merrick's the what's what's John Merrick the Elephant Man doing on TV? Oh, it's okay. That's a, I I like I like that the I like the Elephant Man. Like okay, I'm not sure that's how coming from a place of love works, dude. Uh, I'm gonna ship this hand. See, this is a different story. This hand's a different story because like, even if we hit lands, we don't have really great plays. We have to hit a second white or a black, and we don't actually have like anything to ramp us into this. Or to even get this online. This is a mulligan with two lands. I'm not sure what you thought the, the reaction would be with that, though. Like, like is the person you're calling... If, is the person you're calling that supposed to laugh and be like, Wow, that's a good one, man. I don't know. It's just a weird... That's so weird to me. People, The things people say are so weird to me. Oh, yes, we're doing it. Cycle that Thornado. I got you. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Well, I don't even know what that means. <clears throat> I guess we're just playing one, two, three, one, two, three, three, one here. That's what we're going for. I like the part where we draw our third land at a reasonable time. You and me both. You and me both. Our hand isn't that great. But they have no pressure, and I feel like we can do things. So that's pretty good. Do we just offer the trade here? I think we play this guy first and then offer the trade. Let's attack for five. Would you like to take five? Two drop for four drop? No. I'm game. Let's do it. <coughs> oh, look at that guy. That's a 3-3? Three, three? Yeah, that thing's dead. You don't want to come at me, bro? Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, What is this? 8, 9, this is 12 mana? Yeah, we're just going to use this. Actually, we actually just killed both their guys right here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. And they have double white. Oh, come on. You shelter? Oh, my God. Uh, I 
Vomit. Uh, we'd be getting in there for nine, but no longer. Let's get flying. That'd be great, right? No, it's just 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three dinosaur. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Let's do that. Yeah, they never the four mana slivers are always four twos. They never actually force you to only have the other the other creatures be slivers or uh, get the bonus rather. <clears throat> uh, goalie, I actually wrote the article last week. It was uh. It was up on Cool Stuff Inc. It was called Modern Cards or Cube Cards from Modern Horizons. Should still be up here. There you go. What is this guy? When it enters the battlefield, if there are three or more creature cards in your graveyard, gain five life. I imagine there were. It's got reach. Of course it has reach. Why wouldn't it have reach? Why wouldn't you? Maybe we're getting to a point where he just urges his rage. I guess if we attack with everything, they can block here. They take four. We can rage it. <clears throat> it seems pretty bad, though. <clears throat> Why wouldn't you have reach, you stupid idiot spider? Yep, we're just going to pass here. Do, do, do. Sure. I feel like they're just never attacking with this guy, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, well, we're living the dream, guys. We're living that wing shard's dream. <laughs> you spell soul harder incorrectly. Well, that's life, man. That is life. Sometimes you misspell words, and editors don't catch them. That's just life, man. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. <clears throat> Slivers. Would love a fourth white source here so we can double wing shards, but uh, what are you going to do? Oh, nothing. That is not it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're getting real close to the other thing, though. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep passing here. I mean, we're at a pretty healthy 23, so I'm not super concerned with anything. Oof. <clears throat> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can go this, this, this. Yikes. That just kills all your things. Oh, boy. I feel like based on our hand, our deck does have the inevitability, but you got it.
Yeah, I think we're just blocking with this guy. Seems fine. That's a good trade. 3 1 for a 3 3 shroud. Good deal. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 10 mana. We can almost rage. So if we draw land, land, Urza's Rage, we're just cleaning house. Do we board out in Urza's Rage? No, okay. <clears throat> I mean, we kind of have Fireball, right? I don't know what's going on here. Is this like 14 mana? Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Wow, multiple web change, web weaver changeling. And it's a changeling? Oh, my God. We're having a bad time. That's a yikes for me, dog. Scoot and doo doo. Scoot and bop, doo and doo doo. What are you gonna do something here? I guess we'll have five just to make sure we don't turn off the auto yields. Uh, sure. Same targets. I mean, they get to blink this guy again another five, which is pretty comical. <clears throat> Hello. We do not have three, unfortunately. It's okay. They've only gained about 15 life. Yep, that's pretty good. Thank you. Zedray, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. What's even happening right now? <laughs> All right, that guy's pretty big. That's pretty big. So, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can go. Thank you. One, two, three, one, two, three. So, we can play both of these, which is fine. There's only two. I'd rather go rage, rage, kill one. Uh. Uh, this guy does not have... <clears throat> Hi, is this how I order Hungry Howie's? One flavored crust pizza, please. All... Ew, gross. Gross. Oh, dear. Yep, that's a good one. Okay. So one, we're going to have one Storm Trigger, two Storm Triggers, three Storm Triggers. We can kill one, two, three, and then the Hogak gets through. So we actually have to, like, one, two. We have to double kill one of these guys. Hope they don't have a trick, I guess.
on <clears throat> much gilded light. Sure. This is actually pretty good for us, I think. We have two cards. We can activate this and attack, and I think it's actually pretty okay. If they want to trade and have nothing on board, I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, phenomenal. Get punished. Yep, that's pretty bad. This card's pretty busted. Not sure how we're dealing with that. I guess we can just tap it, right? I don't know if that's great here, but... <clears throat> yep. They have one card in hand. Two, three. This guy. This guy have reach? No, I guess it doesn't matter. We're gonna tap it, right? Um <clears throat> one, two, unearth this dude. Do one of these jobbies. Why does it stack all the way down there? Two, three. Uh, tap you. It's a weird place for the stack to be. Always yield to that. Always yield to that. Seems fine. <clears throat> yeah, that card's good. Third deck seems good. Uh, we take 12 here. I guess that's fine. Oh, that's pretty good. I think. I have no idea. <clears throat> this guy having tramples problematic. This guy getting tramples problematic was his 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I guess we can also activate this guy. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday. What a beautiful baby boy. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. So actually, can we just attack with this and like, are they dead? We tapped out one of their blockers, right? And we're just hoping to have another wing shards, right? Like this is two in there, they go to three. And all of these are lethal except for the rocks. Hmm, sure. Tapped on the elephant. Oh, man. We got that. That was insane. What a game. You could have Shroud. You can have whatever you... Is it actually Mike's birthday today? Every day is Mike's birthday. What are you talking about? I don't understand the question. Um, We could Gilded Light because they do have Wing Shards. Which I don't hate. 
You lose weight, man? Um, maybe. I don't, I'm not trying to, but sometimes. <laughs> I'm not trying to, guys. Been skipping break breakfast lately. Don't you breakfast, always? Break, I mean, break, you wake breakfast. up at five p.m. Do you, don't you get breakfast every day? Wow. <laughs> I mean, like, you go to work at four, you wake up at three fifteen, and then you just drive to work at four at three thirty. So, like, I didn't think you ate breakfast. Well, I I usually would stop somewhere on my way to work, but I stopped doing that. I mean, that's like lunch. Well, whatever. My first meal of the day is skip. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Also, this seems worse now because they do have the blink spell. Reprobation. So I'm going to take that out and bring in Gilded Light. Gilded Light also is pretty nice with um, um wing shards where you can Gilded Light yourself and then, you know, do the thing. You know what these cards do, man? No. <laughs> I mean, I know what the big ones do, but not the not the draft trash. The draft trash? Oh, God, this two-land hand again. I'm going to keep it. We got a playable. Ugh, crying out loud. Oh, they went to five, though? That could work out for us. Oh, they went to four. Okay, well, I guess, uh, I guess we got some time here, my dudes. Oh, we're so good at this game, though. They went to four on the play. Ugh. I feel a 2-1 incoming, boys. The legs acting up today, unfortunately. We want a cookie? Unbelievable, this guy. Not, not necessarily. He just wants rewards for his, for his pain, for his, for his sorrows. I don't think a cookie would help. I don't think a cookie would help. Oh, 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 oh. I should probably get a couple ibuprofen though That's probably a good idea Why don't you go do that Maybe I'll make a little coffee too Okay Before the next draft See you later You're gonna wing shards this one sliver Oh yeah do that That's all That's fine Oh you're just gonna Oh that's weird You're being weird right now Wow multa Multa four and you're killing your own lands off It's a bold strategy Cotton well, I guess we're going to play Talisman here and pass, and next turn we can go Battle Screech, Battle Screech, which is pretty good for us. Ba -ba -ba Battle Screech, do 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 do. Get busy screeching or get busy dying. That's what I always say. He's never said that before in his life. You gonna blink a dude? Shelter? Oh, you're just, you're just cycling a shelter. Got it. I got it. I mean, we can name human here, which is pretty good. <laughs> uh, we're probably just playing rocks veteran. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No reach, right? All right. So I hear battle cry and battle screech are pretty good. All the battles go pretty well together, I think. Such battle. Much screech. Yeah, they have one card in hand. Yeah, this... And we just name uh oh man they're oh they're both elves we can just name elves with this oh that's pretty good i'm feeling okay about that yeah oh boy feeling good about the the mold of four here is not where i want to be in my life but i'll take it Name bird, he'll never see it coming. Well, I mean, it wouldn't affect our guys. It's only opponents' creatures. Thankfully. Yeah, 
yeah, this game's over, unfortunately. Not an ideal game, but what can you do? Either way, 2-1, I'll take it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. ManaTraders.com. You can find the link and the promo code in the description. That will get you 20% off uh, for the first three months of any subscription, which is an awesome deal. A great way to try out the service, which is sweet. And MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore gets 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So check that out as well. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time.